Sweet, camp shower build. Ah. Uh, perfect. Warning, this video may contain scenes of extreme untidiness. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello again, welcome back to The Dirty Shop. Today, I'm gonna to try and build myself a solar, sol, solar, the sun, a sun shower. I can't say solar today. Uh, I'm gonna to build a sun shower and I'm hoping to use this water container, this dark blue water container. I was looking for something that was black because obviously it would heat up better, maybe black and flat because there could be a more efficient container. But this is seven gallons and I'm hoping to put this on top of my, um, my tongue box and then I can lift it off when I need to get into the tongue box and this will just sit up there all day, strapped down and heat up in the sun. And when I want to take a shower, I'm hoping I could take this. It's got a breather cap here and it's got another cap here. And this cap has a little valve in it that's, that is threaded on the inside, but uh, it can thread to the outside here and then you'd put it on there and you'd be able to tap water out of it. Uh, but I'm gonna take that out. And I'm gonna use this hose bib that I've got instead uh, because it seals better and I can connect a hose to it. So um, it does thread on here, but just barely. So apparently the pipe thread they have in here is a little different from the pipe thread there, but uh, that's okay because I have a shop and I believe, I got it out, I've got a uh, pipe threaded, this is three quarter 14 national pipe thread and that'll thread in there and I can just expand my, I can just expand that thread a little bit, hopefully, so that the hose will connect. And any plumbing place should have one of these taps. Just run it in there for you if you need to do it this way. Or if you could find a way to attach to that white piece. I couldn't really think of a good way to attach to the white thing, so I'm going to use my hose bib instead. But take this out. Pipe thread is really interesting because it's tapered. Um, so you tighten it in and it gets tighter as you go and locks through, like locks itself into the hole, which is really cool. Um, there we go. So I got my hose bib on here. I'm going to run a hose from here to this cool diaphragm pump I've got. This is what they use to charge the water systems on like an RV or a camper. Um, so it's obviously made basically for the purpose I'm using it for here. Uh, and they uh, have a pressure switch on them. So they pump up to a certain pressure and they shut off. If you've ever been in an RV and you turn the water pump on and you hear it go, G -g 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 then that's this pump running, which is really cool because it's charging up to pressure and shutting off. And I've just got, that's got a little, a couple little leads on it. So I can clip these to the battery. And then, so the hose will come from here to the pump. Out of the pump, it's going to go to another hose. And I may or may not use this one. I think I'd like to have something longer so I can get further away from my pump. And that's going to have some sort of a valve on it. I've got this low flow faucet head. I'm trying to save money by not going out and buying more stuff. So I've got this low flow shower head with a shutoff on it, which is really nifty. And I'll probably use this. And that way you can, because you've only got seven gallons of water, you can get wet, soap up, shut it off, soap up, and then rinse off real quick with hopefully this at least mildly warm water from sitting in the sun. So uh, I'm going to try and scrounge the rest of the hose parts for this, and then we'll uh, put it together and see how it works. So we're moving right, right along on our shower project here. I had to stop for a while when I, I started this about a month ago now, and uh, I had to stop, I had to order some parts, and I got some other jobs going on my machine back here, so it's making noise in the background, I apologize for that. But what I ordered was this 10 foot stainless coated hose. I ordered a shower faucet sprayer, and it came with all these bits and pieces, and this is well, not a shower, obviously, it's a faucet sprayer for your sink, and uh, Normal, it's just an on off that way you can't waste water you have to hold it to spray and you got to let go and then that came with this extra hose here and a whole bunch of these other pieces but the nice thing is that this this stainless steel hose connected directly to the sprayer and directly to the pump and then from the pump side this hose looks like I'll be able to use this as the feed line for my tank so this hose connects directly to the inlet on the pump which is sweet and now all I have to do is adapt this to my tank and my tank I've got this faucet on here but I might change this out depending on what I'm doing just to get something more useful I do have I do have this faucet here which 
doesn't fit, um, but I'm sure I could find something, some way to make this work. So I need to adapt this to my tank, and uh, I think we're gonna go out and give this a test first, though, and see how it does. Okay, so it's raining outside, of course, so I've got this set up in my sink here in the shop. So I got a tub full of clean water. I've got my intake line that goes to the pump. The pump has got a 12 volt power supply, it's just a battery charger here, and I've got my sprayer hose hooked up here. So we're gonna plug the pump in and see what happens. And the pump pumped water up into it because it's it, it'll draw water through a bare line and it pressurized and shut off, which is perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Spray test. Gotta get the air out of the line. All right, that's gonna work. That's gonna be a great shower. It's got good pressure. Sweet. I think that's gonna work for us. So we're gonna go get this hooked up to our tank. And then as soon as the sun comes out, we'll try and see about the solar heating side of it. Cool. Okay, now is the time to see how good this does for uh, temperature change over the daytime. So if you're out camping, set it in the sun, we'll see how warm it'll get during that time or how many degrees it'll change. And today's gonna be moderately warm. I expect it to be in the low, you know, like maybe high 80s, maybe low 90. Um, and I just filled this up off the hose. I, I cleared the hose out first so that the sunny part of the hose didn't heat it up, you know, cheating. And I've got my little thermometer here, which I tested and it's fairly accurate. So right now, my outside temperature is saying 75. The water temperature, you're not gonna be able to see it in the camera, I don't think, but let's see what we got. Getting down there. About 62, we're at 62 right now um, or so. And we're going to set it out in the sun for a couple hours and see what happens. We'll check it like once an hour or so to see if it's getting some temperature. Overfilled it a bit. Got this nice little tub for my uh, supplies. Take my shower out. Now 
uh, I've ordered an external plug. So I'm gonna put a 12 volt plug outside this box so that it's not so hard to get in the box because now that I put this up here, obviously it's much more difficult to get into the box. So I'm gonna struggle my way in here and hook this up to the battery. Not terrible, but it's just uh, not as much space as I like. connect my hose up first so that my pump doesn't try and pump air. I've got this nice quick this quick disconnect there so it hooks up nice. Open my valve. Now obviously this can be drinking water as well. You can just turn it onto the side like this and dispense drinking water out of it. Okay. Let's put this back up. I think it works pretty good. Yes. This would feel so nice at the end of a hot day or at the end of a day on camping. It's nice to have a at least mildly warm shower. Because I hate going to bed sticky. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time on the dirty shop.